so it's like the giants are going into battle, armed with nothing but a rubber chicken and a wish list. Seriously, if they think they can win with that bamboo shooting catapult, I, well, I'm gonna need to see it to believe it. Imagine lining up against the Steelers' defense while proposing a peace treaty. Good luck, my brave little giants. You've got this or not, whichever. First, tackling the Steelers is like asking a toddler to peacefully share their candy. Futile and definitely not happening. The giants need strategic maneuvers. Maybe they should offer candy instead. But if they expect to waddle past those linebackers without so much as a helmet cushion, I'd recommend a life coach for serious pep talks and knee pads. And let's talk about the quarterbacks. If Daniel Jones thinks he's gonna throw the ball while being engulfed by that Steelers pass rush, he better have a magic wand. Poof, look, all I'm saying is if magic worked, they wouldn't need a game plan. I mean, can someone get him a cape already? We need vibes of Superman flying around here, folks. Defense. Ah, the spine of any football team, like the unsung hero of a bad sitcom nobody watches. The Giants' defense could use a few more pep talks from their favorite high school gym teacher, maybe. If they're not playing tag with the opposing wide receivers, perhaps they could set up a cozy doctor-patient therapy session to figure out why they keep getting burned like toast in a malfunctioning toaster. Special teams, oh boy, let's add a dash of clumsiness to this grand game of chess. If they can execute a flawless cupcake pass or a blooming onion kick, they will send the Steelers reeling in confusion. I can see it now, a defensive back slipping, falling, and landing on the ground, confused like a cat who got trapped in a box. That's poetic gold in football. The key strategy seems simple enough. Work smarter, not harder. So, what's the play? A secret handshake followed by an interpretive dance for optimal distraction? Maybe the Giants can mime in sync and collectively distract the Steelers with a charming display of, oops, I dropped my playbook. Honestly, if that works, they're not just players, they'll be legends of the gridiron. All right, audience, here's a kicker for you to ponder. If the Giants defeat the Steelers using a strategy of sheer luck and perhaps a sprinkle of pixie dust, will we all look back and deem them heroes of the chaos? Or will we just remember them as the quirky underdogs that made us laugh till we cried while masking the pain of inevitable defeat? Your thoughts? Like and subscribe, please.